Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 17 on learning how to use the Raspberry Pi and in particular we're using Linux to control the Raspberry Pi. If you've been with us through the first 16 lessons you've already learned quite a bit about Linux and what we're going to do today is a very short video. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start getting into maybe how to remotely work with the Raspberry Pi, have it on the network you know, send commands to it from remote locations. And in order to do that, the first thing that you're going to need to know is how to get the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. When you plug the Raspberry Pi into your network, the router will assign an IP address to it. And then you got to kind of know what that IP address is in order to talk to it or to work with it. In your terminal window to find your IP address, you will type ifconfig, I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G, and boom, look at that. It comes up link this, the address, that's like the MAC address, the hardware address, and then here is the one you're looking for. The INET address, the IP address that I would use on this network, on my network to work with the Raspberry Pi is 10.1.15.46. Now if I turn the Raspberry Pi off and turned it back on, I might get a different IP address. If I want to have a permanent IP address, I would need to associate in my router, I would need to associate this MAC address <coughs> with this IP address, reserve it just for this device. Since we're just playing around here, we're not going to do that, but we can see that in fact we can talk to that. We will ping ourselves 10.1.15.46 and you can see that the ping the pi is pinging itself all right so now you also notice that when you ping in Linux or in the Raspberry Pi, you don't have to put the T in like you do in Windows to get it to keep pinging. If you just stick, do a ping by itself with the IP address, it keeps pinging and keep pinging. How do we stop it? <clears throat> what I find is if you get stuck somewhere like this, there's usually three ways to stop it, either Control X, Control C, or Q. And I try Control X, didn't stop it. Control C stops it. Okay. Control X, Control C, or Q will usually get you out of most situations in the terminal window in, uh, in Linux. Okay. This was a quick lesson. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Share these videos. I like comments. You know, give, give me feedback on these things. We will talk to you later. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com, and I am signing off.